great to see you today. We're gonna have a whole bunch of fun, but first, let's go sing some sweet songs with Happy Cares. Yay! Hi, Hi kids. kids! So great to see you, and I can see some of you that need a little bit of a squeeze. Do you need a big hug? I'm gonna give you a big hug. Put your arms out. One, two, three! And wow. then I'm gonna try and give you a hug right. too. <laughs> We just got him, didn't we? Are you ready to sing our theme song with us? Standing up and let's do all the actions together. <laughs> Do you have a favourite colour? Maybe you can tell me what it is. After I say three, you can yell it out. Are you ready? One, two, three. I heard lots of colours and that's so good because we're going to sing our rainbow song and rainbows have lots of colours, don't they? So let's sing it together. Have you got your rainbow ribbon? I wonder what colour it's going to be today. God made the beautiful something that's a bit more purple I think this one's a bit of a lighter purple isn't it it is I wonder how many things you can find in my purple box now
we're going to tell another parable today. Now remember boys and girls, Jesus told many parables to people because it made it easier for them to understand what he was teaching. And this parable is about a man who owned a vineyard. Now Jesus was comparing this story to what the kingdom of heaven is like. Do you know what a vineyard is, boys and girls? It's a big field that has lots and lots of grapes growing on the vines. Can you see all these big juicy grapes ready to be picked on the vines? And so the owner of the vineyard, he was looking at all his grapes and his harvest. And he knew, hmm, well, I really need some help picking all these grapes. You see, you have to pick grapes when they're ripe. So the job has to be done very quickly before they go rotten and drop onto the ground. That would be sad, wouldn't it? So the owner of the vineyard decided that he would go down to the market. Now the market was open very early. And so he decided that he was going to go down right at dawn. Now dawn is right at the very, very early, early hours of the morning. And so he knew that he might find some people there that could help him pick all his yummy grapes in his vineyard. And so he walked down to the market at dawn to see who would be willing to come and help him. And when he got there, he did. He found some people standing around and he said to them, oh, will you come and work in my vineyard? I will pay you one silver coin for a day's work. Now, that was a lot of money back then. And he said, yes, I'll come. And he found somebody else too and asked the same thing. And they said, yes, I'll come too. Oh, and this made the owner of the vineyard very happy. And so he put them to work straight away to start to pick all the grapes in his vineyard. So let's put one over here. And he's going to go and help on this side, this one here. And they started to pick all the yummy grapes. So as the morning wore on, the owner could see that he might need some more help because there was a lot of grapes. There were so many of them. So he decided that he would go off again to the market. Now, this was about nine o'clock in the morning. Now, nine o'clock in the morning, the sun was up in the sky and he decided, yes, I definitely need to go down to the marketplace and see if I can find anybody else who is willing to come and help me pick all my yummy grapes. And so that's what he did. He found some more people standing around in the marketplace doing not really much at all. And he said, you, you can go and work in my vineyard. I will pay you what is right. And so they said, yes. And this one said yes as well. And so they came back to the vineyard and they too started to help pick all the grapes in this beautiful vineyard. There were so many to pick. And they spent lots of time picking them all and filling up lots of buckets of big juicy grapes. Look at that, there's so many of them, isn't there? And we're going to put one over here because these people, they've been working quite long. They started at dawn, didn't they? So they too were picking lots and lots of grapes. Do you know, the owner of the vineyard looked again and he realized, oh, I need some more. There's just so many grapes to pick. And so again, he decided to go to the marketplace. He went out at midday and he found somebody else and agreed to pay him a silver coin for a day's work. He said, yes, I will come. And so he started to pick grapes too. And then he went out again at three o'clock and found somebody else. And they said, yes, I will come. And then still he decided he needed just a few more workers to help finish picking all this harvest. And so he went finally at five o'clock as well. And he found some people standing around and he said to them, why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? And they replied, because no one has hired us. Now remember boys and girls, this was at five o'clock at, at the end of the day. And he said to them, come work in my vineyard. It's getting very dark by then. 
and all the workers kept picking the yummy grapes and this person too come and helped as well. He had lots of workers picking all the yummy grapes. Now when the evening came and the sun had gone down, he called his special helper and he said, call all the workers and bring them here so we can pay them their money. Beginning with the last ones I hired just an hour ago and then the ones that came this morning. And so that's what the foreman did. He started telling everybody that they must come to collect their money for the, for the day's work that they had done. And so that's what they did. They all came and they lined up ready to receive the money that had been promised to them. Let's put them all here ready to receive their money. Here we go. And let's go here. And these were the ones, remember these ones here, they were the ones that started first. So they were waiting also for their money. And so the workers who were hired about five in the afternoon, they came and they received one silver coin. And as each of them came up to the, the helper and the vineyard owner, they all were receiving one silver coin. Now, what do you think about this, boys and girls? Do you remember the ones that had started very, very early in the morning? And they'd been working all day long in the hot sun, weren't they? Well, they became very angry. They were not happy at all. Do you think this is fair? We have been working all day long and you have given the same amount of money to the ones you only hired one hour ago. Do you know what the vineyard owner said? He said to them, I'm not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for one silver coin? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you upset because I am generous? The last will be first and the first will be last. Can you see something here, boys and girls? This parable is telling us what the kingdom of heaven is like. And it's telling us that God is a generous God. His love and kindness is the same for everyone. And he loves us equally. So the reward in heaven is open to anyone who follows him. And what a blessing to us that is. What a great parable, Happy Cows. I loved it. The reward in heaven is for everyone. He loves us all the same. Hey kids, I was just getting all our things ready for our creating time. Would you like to see what I've got today? I've got some blue and red paint. Now, if we mix these two colors together, what color will it make? Does anybody know? It makes purple. So we're going to make a nice purple color. You might like to use green or you might like to use another color too, whatever you like. Now, the other things I have here, I of course have a nice big white piece of paper to do our picture on. And then I have some patterned paper. Now you might have some other patterns. This is the one I'm going to use today. And then I've got some green paper and also some brown paper. Now there are a few things in my box too. Shall we see what's inside? Let's have a look what's inside the box today. Oh, I have some pipe cleaners. Now what I want you to do with the pipe cleaners is wind it around your finger like this and it makes a little spring. And we're going to need them for our little grapes for our picture. We've got some scissors, always be careful with the scissors and the glue, we're going to need the glue. And we also have some sticky tape, which we'll need, oh, there's another little spring we can use too. And I have some cotton wool. Now cotton wool is a lot of fun to use with paint. Again, you don't have to use cotton wool, we're just giving you some ideas. Now, something else I'm missing, hmm, what is it? It's a little love heart, isn't it? We're going to use a little red love heart. Make sure you have a marker to write our special message on. And I'm going to use my beautiful purple glitter. Have a look at that. 
that's going to be very pretty to put on our picture isn't it now you might have some other color glitter and that's perfectly fine so that is everything i am ready to start creating my picture are you coming i'm bright and sparkly a little messy too but jesus loves me and he loves you jesus loves me creating that one and I know you will too. Did you notice that I missed a few things off my picture? I think I was getting too excited about using all the paint which is normally the case. Let me show you what I've added on my picture. So up the top remember the pattern paper that we needed? I've added some some vines up the top there of my picture and I've also added the beautiful purple glitter which we can't forget can we? And I have a special message at the bottom. Can you see what it says? It says God loves everyone the same. Now you don't have to use a cotton wool, remember you might like to just draw a picture and send it into us, but whatever you do, we'd love to see it. So don't forget to ask mum or dad to take a photo of it so you can send it into us and we can share it next week. Have fun creating that one. Boys and girls, are you ready to pray with me now? Because I'm ready to pray with you. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this parable that we learned today that helps us know what the kingdom of heaven is like, that you don't have favorites, that you love all of us the same. And we thank you for that. And we can't wait to be with you in heaven soon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. sharing time and that's so much fun because we get to share all of your masterpieces that you've been making so don't forget to send it into us here at happy hearts so we can share it on next week's show i hope you've had great fun because i've had great fun with you today remember the message that we learned that god does not have favorites that he loves everybody just the same and remember also that beautiful feeling knowing that you are god's masterpiece see you next week the sun can a blob of paint and glue is making me brand new. Jesus loves me and he loves you. Jesus loves